everyone, welcome to the AMX Superstore's Product Insight. I'm Rihanna Korean and today I'm joined by our brand manager from HJC, Stacey Humphreys. Stacey, what is the latest from HJC? Thanks, Ree. The latest is our new F71 sports touring helmet. So it replaces the F70 and the F71 is the top of the line helmet just before you step into the premium alpha range. So let's work from outside in. Talk to me about the shell. The shell is advanced fiberglass composite shell, which means it's lightweight and extremely aerodynamic. And the outer shell comes in three sizes, which means it's tailored for that specific size fit. So what has improved in terms of ventilation? Ventilation has increased massively from the F70. So the F71 has three intake and two exhausts. The first intake is located just down here on the chin, and that also assists with the defogging of the visor. The next two intakes are located just at the top here and can be open and closed. And those vents at the top are working to draw in that cool air and they're pulling that cool air through the EPS. And then essentially what they're doing, pulling the cool air through and then dispersing the heat through to the two exhausts at the back. So has the visor changed as well? We have an all new improved visor on the F71 uh, operating on the left hand side. We have a wider eye port which allows for max peripheral vision. It's a two-way ratchet system as well. So what a two-way ratchet system does is when we're getting down to that final stage there, it pulls it nice and tight, creating that really nice seal. We have multiple levels of detent as well, which a lot of people like, especially in the hotter weather in Australia, is riding with that last uh, position, the city position, allows for that extra ventilation. The visor locks just down here on the left-hand side. Once you push the button, it unlocks and it pops back up again. And what about the internal visor? Has that changed? Yeah, absolutely. So what you'll see on HJC's new ECE 2206 range in the sports touring range is that they have what's called the dynamic multi-step sun shield. So essentially we have the default position, which looks like this. Uh, we flip it over and we just pop this little side cover off. And just at the side here, we pop it back up to the top and you'll see the internal sun visor comes down and out a further 10 mil. That's great for riders that are requiring that bit more optimal performance of the visor coming down, not allowing the, uh, the light leakage in, in all uh, types of daytime riding. And what about the rest of the helmet, the internal features? So we'll flip it over and have a look at the internals. So what you can see here is we have really nice contoured 3D cheek pads. Uh, we also have this really great reflective lining that assists with safety as well. Now the inner cheek pads and the liner can be removed and washed. And you'll see that we have up here a great new safety feature on the F71 quick release cheek mm -hmm. pads. And while I've got this down, Re, uh, you can see at the bottom here, that is the recess for the battery pack. Mm -hmm. Now you can uh, pop the smart HAC communication system in and we have that available in three different models, Bluetooth and mesh capability. And that allows for a really nice seamless integration for the communication system into the helmet. I feel like you've given us plenty of details. Is there anything else we need to know? Uh, the visor is fitted with a pinlock lens. Pinlock lens is included in the box. The helmet has a three year warranty. If you're looking for an affordable sports touring helmet, this is the helmet for you. Thanks so much, Stacey. If you'd like any more information on the HJC F71, head to your nearest AMX Superstore. Or of course, the information is there for you on the website.